Monsanto investors are concerned about reports that one of the company's key crops may be losing its effectiveness in warding off crop-killing bugs, the very same pests that it was designed to combat. A researcher at Iowa State University says corn crops at several farms in northeast Iowa are being attacked by destructive pests, and there are fears that the Monsanto crop is spawning a superbug. Monsanto is playing down the potential problem. The company sent, sent us a statement saying its corn seed is working as expected on more than 99% of the acres planted. Monsanto has been selling this rootworm-resistant corn since 2003, and it's worked exceedingly well, maybe too well. Because of its success, many farmers have relied solely on it, and experts have long warned that relying on a single method allows pests to change and adapt. Some have also done less crop rotation. Monsanto generates more than $4 billion a year in sales from corn seed, or about 40% of its overall sales last year. Shares of Monsanto are modestly lower at midday Monday, but off session lows. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2011, and I'm Darko. Um, welcome, everyone. This is ggnonline.com. That's my website, ggnonline.com. I have a channel on YouTube. It's called ddarko2012. You can check it out. Um, also on Facebook, check that out. Um, you can check out all the uh, archive of news videos in there. Also, there's a little donate button there, just so you know. Um, but besides that, uh, you can join me on the blogger uh, to the right, right here. Um, all the links will be posted, unless I have some kind of technical... Uh, issues which do happen and uh, anyways I'm going to start off with the economy but uh, I may only do two videos today uh, due to the last time I had such technical problems that I just I almost lost it so uh, basically I'm going to try to keep this simple and do two videos today um, I start off with the economy and I'm probably going to do some other stuff uh, and finish up with Big Brother and that eugenics in the second video so Okay, um, Brent crude is at $114, and it was down 56 cents. Gas oil futures were up about, I'm sorry, down almost $6. And then we move on to heating oil futures. It was uh, down just a little bit. Uh, natural gas, uh, steady and even. It's saying right now uh, that uh, right now we have agriculture. Uh, a lot of the stuff is down right now. The big ones are cocoa down uh, 12 and 38, and then you have corn down at $29. And you have... Uh, uh, wheat futures down 30 and 23 uh, also soybeans and oats so moving on to metals we have copper at 414 dollars and it was down a uh, dollar 80 gold down 90 cents but it is above 18 hundred dollars at 1828 dollars and 20 cents silver at 41 dollars and not much change with silver uh, confidence in u.s economy plummets it says a corporate confidence and the u.s economy has dropped to its lowest level in more than two years while the economic crisis is expected to continue a new survey shows so you can go in there and check that out it's a it says here a quarterly business optimism index from grant thornton llp that's where it came from uh, white house sharply cuts uh, growth forecast so barry satoro sharply cuts the estimates on thursday for u.s economic growth underscoring the difficult challenge he faces spurring a stronger recovery and creating more jobs next up mortgage uh, rates hover near all-time lows and you move on here and it says a 30-year fixed rate mortgage average 4.22 percent for this week ending on thursday unchanged from the prior week and below the 4.32 percent seen last year moving on world factories falter risking recession as if we're not already in it it says world factory output slowed in august as worries about the eurozone and u.s debt reduced confidence heightening fears the global economy could sink back into recession so Gallup unemployment went up again in August. It says U.S. unemployment rate increased in August, according to the Gallup poll company, which surveys approximately 30,000 people each month about their employment status. So Gallup's calculation employment was 8.8% at the end of July and rose to 9% uh, by the end of August. And, of course, like I said, those aren't the real unemployment numbers. Um, it says here you can pretty much double it, so it's about 16%. It says here 9 out of 10 jobs created last year went to foreign nationals. 9 out of 10 people who joined the workforce last year were foreign nationals. Official figures revealed yesterday the number is far higher than it had been previously thought. British nationals accounted for only a tiny fraction of the rise in employment among working age people, with uh, most new workers being immigrants. Said last night experts warned there could be a jobless recovery for British workers. Oh, for the Brits 
too, along with the Americans. We're loving this jobless recovery uh, where people are uh, not spending as much and saving, which is good. Uh, but at the same time, there's not a lot of work. So uh, it says here, workers and ministers get uh, to grips with immigration. Okay, then we have Labor Department confirms it will ensure illegal aliens get paid legal wages in uh, U.S. jobs. The U.S. Department of Labor told uh, CNS News in a written statement on Wednesday that it will enforce the federal wage laws on behalf of anyone working in the United States, quote, regardless of their immigration status. The statement was in response to a written question from CNS News. So go in there and check that out if you want to uh, read about it further. Uh, we're going to keep moving here. Uh, these green texts are throttling the British economy, and it goes on here, and it says that uh, in 1993, uh, Chancellor Clark was the first to use a climate change as an excuse to take your money. He invented something called the fuel duty escalator, uh, and it says here, since then, we've had three more chancellors, but no change, and it says here that green taxes have become a con that British families just can't afford with so many other pressures on their finances. The biggest green tax is the fuel duty, which raised $27 billion, or 27 billion pounds uh, in 2010. It says with the VAT value-added tax as well on both fuel and duty tax is about 60% of the price at the pump, one of the highest ratios in the world. It said motorists also pay nearly $6 billion pounds on a road tax add up all the domestic green taxes and they raise uh, 39 uh, billion if we assume that is fair enough to motorists to pay for building and maintaining roads that leaves 30 billion of excess revenue i always love how they do that with these roads that uh, you're paying for with your taxes either uh, directly um, like a public thing or a private uh, thing where you're, it's getting subsidized to a private company like a toll or something uh, you're paying for that and then they ask uh, for what oh we're going to increase your fee like in Chicago and that for their little uh, tollway over there we got to uh, revamp it and it's going to take like 10 years and so they're going to just spend all this money when they really don't have to or if I'm not going to say that they don't have to maybe they do need to but either way it's uh, the, the taxpayer and the quote consumer uh, the person who's using it the customer is getting slapped uh, both sides with either a tax uh, slash subsidy uh, that's being basically you know stolen from them to fund this and then they're paying voluntarily and then they're increasing their toll um, to do all this maintenance that they should be paying with with the taxes and subsidies so or the toll that they're receiving so i I, it, you always see this happening, how they're going to raise it in hikes and all that. So London Olympics drops carbon offset plan. And it uh, says here that organizers of the 2012 Olympic Games in London dropped a plan to cut carbon emissions during the sporting showcase, abandoning a pledge when uh, it made when it defeated eight other cities to host the event, the event. It said it will no longer pursue formal offsetting procedures to mitigate Olympics. And it said down here uh, a green party official uh, basically said that uh, it's not fair i'm trying to find here we go uh darren johnson green party member said it's not fair so and uh you know is that going to go towards stopping climate change i.e um planes up there spraying barium and aluminum oxide along with nanoparticles and other uh heavy metals and that in the sky causing your allergies to go get worse and all that and god only knows what it's doing uh, to the natural order of the, as I call it, the Mother Earth of uh, everything that's going on, uh, mutating species and that. You think it's going to help that curb pollution? Or, or No, it's like that's what it's going to do. I mean, it's definitely not going to help uh, stopping pollution, and the green uh, tax isn't going to help stopping uh, the spraying, the man-made climate change, the spraying in the skies, and stop all that uh, uh, messing with Mother Nature. It says here, killing Greece, value-added tax increases from 13% to 23%. There's actually an article that came out today that said that the Greek restaurants are uh, rejecting it and not complying with it. It says here, Amazon offers California jobs if it drops tax. So just like Illinois, Illinois, uh, Amazon left them because they slapped a tax on them, an online tax. So it proposed hiring a spree of 7,000 jobs in California. State leaders put a recently enacted online sales tax on hold for two years. So the Italian town prints its own currency to fight austerity measures. You better be careful there, uh, uh, Italians or Dagos. says here, Liberty Dollars may be subject to seizure. So federal officials call uh, medallic pieces contraband. So Liberty Dollars held by collectors may be, uh, by collectors, uh, they could also be traded, <laughs> but they say collectors. Uh, you know, it's like, no, actually some people do use that stuff for uh, trading and bartering because it actually has some fucking value. It says here, it may be subject to seizure as contraband by federal law 
pigs. And it says here, uh, officials with the U.S. Attorney's Office and Secret Service said August 24th. So you always, I always I find it funny that the Secret Service uh, runs uh, uh, the monopoly on currency, but it makes sense. So it says here, 10 lessons uh, from people who lived through the Great Depression. First one is, uh, if you've got it, use it. In other words, quit buying a bunch of new crap that you don't need. Review the facts. And it goes there and talking about 50% drop in national income uh, from 29 to 32. In nine, uh, 1933, almost 25% of the workforce was unemployed. It says there were food shortages uh, to go along with thousands of people filing for bankruptcy. Today, the numbers, frankly, speak more uh, to recession than depression. But we were in a depression in 2008. We were in negative 6% growth. It says here, grow your own. Well, you can try that until uh, a local code enforcement comes and uh, raids your backyard and tries to throw you in jail jail for trying to grow your own uh, garden. It says here, instead of just using uh, stupid grass, lawn grass that you dump fucking uh, uh, chemicals on, right? I mean, what is that? It's just for beauty. It has no, it's just for aesthetic uh, reasons. It has no practical purpose but to for you to feel good about being an outdoorsman and, and mowing your lawn and stuff like that. And and uh, you know, having the greenest grass and the shortest grass. And I love these people. They're such fascists because they always talk shit about people who don't want to cut their grass uh, to a certain level. And there are codes for that too. So if a person wants to grow their grass out and maybe let it just grow wild and put a fence around it and then actually forage off whatever, because if you let things grow, I read this in uh, Linear Running's uh, book of the field, uh, you know, you let things grow and just let it grow for a good season out and you'll actually start to see the natural environment start to grow and you can eat that stuff. So you don't even have to really lay crops. So, but either way, you know, so watch out for the SWAT teams and the drones bombing you if you try growing your garden. So it's here, ten uh, cash, not credit. So talking about not using credit anymore. Well, most people won't have credit, so you got to use uh, cash. And of course, they're going to save it if you have to move on. So don't get uh, uh, too clamped down in one spot. It says here, keep morale high, uh, know a deal when you see it, and diversify and build. And next up, we have stick together. Uh, number 10, tomorrow I could lose everything, but somehow I'm not afraid. I'm really not. And uh, so we're going to move on here. Uh, government sues to block AT&T T-Mobile merger. And I only covered this because uh, this is, you know, complete BS because, you know, um, yeah, so it's just basically consolidation. And uh, you're only going to have one telecom company eventually. But the only reason that it is like that is because of government because the government exists you have these big conglomerates just kind of you know they call it a merger but it's really just kind of a buying out um and, and consolidation so now the government's going to uh, sues to block this and it's like well why why don't you stay the f out of the economy right um you're the hidden hand there and uh, it says here, you know, basically, if they would just stay out of it, there wouldn't be these big companies uh, like this. There'd be more competition. So they should stay out of it completely. German city introduces parking meter for prostitution. And it says that, uh, actually, you can go check that out because i got to keep moving for time's sake. California wants parents to provide workers compensation and paid vacation for uh, babysitters. Then Petraeus budget cuts must not impair the military-industrial complex. Pentagon no-bid contracts rise to 45% in 2011. Report U.S. defense contractors waste $12 million a day and creating a false war on terror. It says here, Obama moves to sell Northrop drones to South Korea, so more military industrial complex, and close this out. Western oil majors will get the first crack at Libyan oil production. So it goes on and says, countries that supported the overthrow, the overthrow, the invasion of a sovereign country, are likely to get the first crack at post-war um, post-invasion Libyan oil production, while those that sat on the sidelines are at risk of losing out. So just let's, let's just not crap each other here that money was going to the actual people now it's not so that those that's the fact in talks on rebuilding libya a tussle over contracts so talking about uh, just fighting over contracts it says here amish farm banned from selling unpatronized milk after sting operation by feds come in there and check this out why is this unsafe food ban when it's 35,000 times safer than others Ohio is first in U.S. to sell prisons to private companies. They're also the first to inject uh, someone in a death penalty case uh, for putting down pets, using the same solution as uh, uh, basically putting down pets. So Ohio is a is a is a great leader in uh, in the prison uh, in the prison market. It's Gigi Darko.